Good morning. So I just woke up and so I had this urge to want to like vlog today. I have a few things to do today. We've done literally nothing for the last two days. I've shown you none of the house yet. So I thought that I would I have to get ready to leave the house. I have to go to the gym, I have to go to the store. So I thought you guys could just come with me. I've never done one of these before, but ooh, that lighting though. So let's go to the bathroom and we'll get ready for our day. So something I do every morning is I make either a coffee for myself in, so I have some instant coffee. I have some K-pop or K-cups for my Keurig. And then I have my vitamins. So the vitamins I've been using this, this month are the Ollie ones that I got from Crest. This one's a daily vitamin. This is a probiotic. This is a pre and so I take this one in the morning, this one at night. And then I have a beauty hair, skin, and nails. And then this is just leftover B12 that I've used. Um, I actually just ordered the B12 in this brand because this has been my favorite gummy brand as of now. So yeah, just gonna, gonna take those and then start my day. Issues, um, so I've been just using this CC cream and it's like my favorite. Um, it's creamy, it has um, the SPF I need because my light skin, my light eyes, like I need sunblock, but I hate wearing sunblock. So I've been using this guy and it's my favorite. I usually put it on with a brush. I got this like little baby one for my purse too. So when I'm out, like if I'm wearing a mask, I usually don't put anything on just so I'm not like caking on something and then also having a mask over it and then I'm like sweating in my mask. It's like a whole thing. So I'm really just gonna kind of like apply a little bit of that. Sometimes if I'm feeling spicy and I want to look like I have a tan, I use um, Too Faced Do You, which is also one of my favorite products right now. Um, it allows you to have like, kind of like a glow, but you don't have to ruin your skin with like sun exposure. I grew up in Florida and I ruined my skin as a child, so you know. It is what it is. My hair is like doing its own thing today, which we might just use some of my sea salt spray from Ex Mondo. It's like my favorite thing. It smells so good. Um, we'll do that first because this has to set. So I just kind of throw some of that in there. Let that crunch up just a little bit. I like my hair natural. Some people hate their hair natural. Um, I'm fairly blessed to have like healthy, beautiful, natural looking hair. Um, I think it's because I don't dye it, but I mean, some people might not leave the house like this, but I live my life, half my life looking like this. So, <laughs> so normally I just put some on my finger, apply to some problem spots. And I take my, I have this flower brush set that I love. Um, I think it's like a Walmart brand, but I just kind of apply that just so, so it's just thin layer and it kind of just, you know, fixes all the like super dark spots. I don't care about my face looking like I have acne. It's more like, like if it looks like super red, I get annoyed. Dots, I don't give a shit about, but red bothers me. So that's why the CC cream is like perfect. I also use all the time my total, Maybelline Total Temptation eyebrows because if you can tell, your girl's eyebrows are not the cutest, but it makes it super easy just to kind of, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do like in the camera, but I'm getting there. And then it has this awesome side on the other side that you just kind of like brush it out. And then it looks super 
natural. Um, I also have, this is one of my favorite, it's called a State Cocoa. It's one of my favorite bronzers or like contouring. I don't need that today, but I use that a lot. Um, another one I like a lot is the Too Faced that matches, it's like the Pineapple Sun one, and it has a contour and a highlight. And sometimes I just kind of hit that on my nose, hit my, oh uh, my, yeah, just so it looks like I have little sun-kissed cheeks. Yeah, it looks good. And then my favorite right now is this Ulta Beauty Lash Extender. So it has like four different settings and you can turn the nozzle and it, it adjusts the, um, bristles to be as thick as you want them to be. I'm not a huge eyelash girl, but just a little bit. It's good. So you don't look dead. Mine are really light on the ends because I'm blonde, so having just a little bit of color is like perfect. Okay. That's me. <laughs> I'm pretty low budge on when it comes to makeup, so this getting ready with me is not like the best. So let's finish the rest of our day. So I just got dressed. I have on some leggings, running shoes, and a bridesmaid, bridesmaids, the movie bridesmaids quote shirt from being a bridesmaid for one of my best friends, Becca. We got Shadow hanging out with us in the bathroom. What are you doing, baby? So yeah, I normally do this thing where I wear like really cute athletic wear, but then like with like death metal t-shirts, cause that's like my vibe. Um, but I couldn't find my Thy Artist Murder shirt, so I just put on this one instead. I need a jacket though, cause it's freezing outside. So I thought I'd show you guys some of the house. I made my list for the store. I don't know if you're a list person, but I am a list person. I, if I go to the store, I don't know if my ADHD just like distracts me when I'm in there, but I have to write down the things I need. So right now here's just a little glimpse of the house. We still have like a little Christmas tree set up because my sister and her wife are coming to visit and I have all their Christmas presents and my, my other sister's birthday presents because her birthday's on the 7th. Um, and then in here, so that's the front door. Shadows following us around like a little shadow. Here is the game room. It's not finished yet, but you know, your girl unpacked everything in like one day. So, you know, I have my desk and Red's desk and then like some of my workout gear, which I've been working out at home. Hopefully today we can get a membership to Planet Fitness. Because your girl doesn't like spending too much money on going to the gym. This is the guest bedroom. Also not finished, but you know what? It's It works. Katie's got her stuff. Guest people can sleep in the bed. This is like the warmest room of the house. It's nice. And then we have our guest bathroom that has a rug on it right now. Because someone felt like playing in her water, which is... That shadow's water right there. And she got my carpet like all wet. And we don't have a dryer yet, so that's like a whole nother story, but got my jacket on, we're ready to go. If you're not from the North or Midwest, you know, the country or whatever, it is currently snowing. It snowed yesterday. So they're building their house over there and their property got all kind of jacked up, but we have tons of snow. And I, I love the snow. I think it's so cool growing up in Florida. I never really got to experience snow and living somewhere now that like can snow is like really cool. Um, but yeah, that's the whole, that's the whole house. Besides you saw my bathroom and then Red's in there sleeping. So yeah, let's uh, head out. This is our mud closet area, which has like all of my chinksy cute little things, Shadow's cat box, and then this is the laundry area. I'm still waiting on the dryer. Like I said, that's a long story. So what happened is I ordered our, ordered our wash and dryer on Black Friday. 
and on Black Friday they had stuff back ordered. So, and I actually ended up not ordering the right kind of dryer because we have a we have an electric dryer. Um, but I ordered a gas dryer because we have a gas water heater, so I thought we had a gas dryer, but we don't. So it's on its way. You can see in the garage there, there's my, we have like a liquor cabinet in our garage because it just looks cool in there. And we're alcoholics. <laughs> Ooh, this lighting is nice. Hello house. Oh, hello. So we are going to go to one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to buy local. Um, I know a lot of people, it's like health and all this other stuff. And don't get me wrong, like everyone's New Year's resolution should be their own and should be something that matters to them. Um, but to me, I think the economy is going to need a lot of like stimulus right now. <laughs> no pun intended, but, um, I, I am a small business owner, as y'all know, like I plan weddings and I do this YouTube stuff and so one of my biggest passions in life is like supporting smaller businesses. So we're gonna go get a protein coffee from one of my favorite spots right now in my local area, um, which is called Prosper. And the guy in there who works there is like so sweet and his wife and their kids. And you know, I love being able to support somewhere local and you know, I know it's privately owned. It just makes me feel better and I know I'm making their lives better. Um, and it's also a healthy spot. You know, they leave protein shakes, they do like protein bowls. I think they're a Nutrisystem um, affiliate or something like that. When we get there, I'll tell you about it more. Um, and then, yeah. So I just stopped and got some gas um, because your girl always runs out of gas because I never drive and that's just a thing. But I don't know about you guys, but I have been on ring duty for Megan, my spirit animal, um, for someone who got married or got um, engaged to on Christmas. I was really hoping that Megan would get engaged um, in Colorado when they went. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, Megan Rinks is like my spirit animal. She's like everything that I feel like we're like twins from like different dimensions, if that makes sense. Because like I'm a Leo, she's a Leo. I'm ADHD, she's an ADHD. You know, I pick my face, she picks her face. Um, she's like way better of a person than I am. I'm very narcissistic. She's very self-aware. That's where we're like a little different. But yeah, I am gonna get some gas. As I scrolled on my Instagram waiting to see if someone got engaged to or not. I guess not. Keep waiting, I guess. Guys, they're not open. I'm so mad. Uh, I know it snowed and it's like super crazy out, but I need a coffee. So yeah, this is this is my spot. This is my cute little like plaza area. Um, look at all the snow. Um, okay, I guess we won't get one. We will. This is my next favorite place in town. It's called All About Cha. It's a coffee and a Japanese infused bistro. And it's my favorite. So we're gonna get a coffee in here and see. So I just got done inside. I got the, my salted caramel latte with almond milk. It's delicious. They also have really good chai teas. They also have really good matchas. Um, it's just they have a bunch of locations. And I know they're like franchise, but they are privately owned, even though they're franchise. So that still makes me feel good. Mm. Oh gosh, that's so good. It's kind of hot, but oh. Hello here, but it's delicious. All right, so now we're gonna go to Planet Fitness. Um, I don't think I'm gonna actually go to the gym today. I think I'm just gonna go get our um, membership. Uh, Red and I used to just go to the gym in our apartment complex, but now that we live in our house, there I've been trying to work out at home, and it's just not 
the motivation I need. I need something a little more like get dressed, go to the gym, you know, get a post workout. Like I need a little bit more structure with it because at home I'm like, oh, work on a little bit here, work on a little bit there, and it's just not really working for the amount of intensity I need. I really do need like high cardio. I need to run on a treadmill. I need to do a lot of like thigh master stuff. And I don't have those, you know, things at the house. And I at first read was like, well, why don't you just buy a bunch of equipment and we'll put it in the garage. And after I started looking at it and trying to work out at home, I was like, I feel like it would just be a waste of money. And then I would end up getting a gym membership anyways. I did a lot of research. There's two gyms I really wanted to go to that are local to my area, but they're both like $40 a month. And right now I don't want to spend that much money on a gym. Uh, I, I wanted to spend like less than 20 for Red and I to both go. Um, and Planet Fitness is the closest thing to our area. And I used to go to Planet Fitness when I was in high school and it's perfect. It has all, it's clean, it's nice. They're brand new normally. They have all new equipment. It, I mean, unless you're like a class person or you need like a CrossFit level of intensity, a normal gym like Planet Fitness for the price is like on point for me at least. Um, it makes me feel like it's not too expensive, but then I know some part of it is like when I was spending like almost $100 a month to go to CrossFit, it was a, it was very motivating because I was spending a lot of money. And But I only did it for four months and then I got a Planet Fitness because like the intensity was only needed for like a small period of time. Um, and now that I've done that, I feel like I can do my own intensity at a gym. Like I can push myself as long as I've got like some good, you know, metal music going and I you know, motivate myself. Uh, Self-motivation is definitely something I've needed to work on for a while. Um, I usually am pretty ambitious, but it's when I'm like not wanting to get out of bed or just wanting to sit around and play video games or even sometimes in video games, I get very demotivated in some of the things I do. So I've been trying to work on that as well, like motivating myself to like reach my goals and do what I want in a day and not feel like, wow, what did I do today? Nothing? Okay, great. You know, so um, I've been working on that. So let's go get this gym membership and then go to the grocery store. Either, I really want to go to Crest, but I'm thinking I might just go to Sprouts because Sprouts is over by the gym. But Sprouts sometimes doesn't always have all the stuff I want. So we'll see. Let's go get a membership. So I think that process only took like 20 minutes. She gave me like a little lap, like a little tablet to do all my my paperwork on, um, which was awesome. Um, but now my coffee's like in the perfect temperature. It's, oh, it's so good. Um, but yeah, that was um, really enjoyable. The lady in there was super nice. Um, the process was super simple. I think there was um, like a $20 startup fee. So you have to pay like $20 today and then you get like another. So like February would be my first payment. So I have to pay for this month. And I, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, to be able to come with red. We're, we're thinking about coming Mondays and Fridays and then maybe sometimes Wednesdays after work. Um, oh, it's gonna be such a good motivator for me. I, I'm so excited. Now we're gonna go I think I decided I want to go to Crest because it's like my new favorite spot. Um, and Sprouts that is right here doesn't always have everything I want. So let's go to Crest and then we'll go home and see what Red's doing. I know he's up, he texted me, so. Time to go get some food and some lunch. $100 later, food is acquired. So here's the house on the outside, all snowy. Actually gonna check on the mail. Oh, I got some mail. That's good. But yeah, isn't that great? So cool with all the snow. I love it. So this is all I got. I got I'm gonna make some chickpea curry, so I needed some jasmine rice. I got some salad stuff for the week. 
Got some red, some snacks, because he loves snacks. Got some carrots and some snacks for work. Red loves salsa, I have tons of chips. So I got him some salsa and some hot sauce. Hot chocolate is a must. My silk almond milk for coffee. I got some Brussels. Got some Brussies. snacks for me. I got some chicken. I got some chicken salad. Seafood salad. I got two salmon fillets and some shrimp for my pho. That's it. Oh, morning, baby. Oh. What? It's the whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, well, all the food's put away. We, I actually, oh, hi, Shadow. Um, I actually got us, I didn't show you guys, but while I was at Crest, I got us some salmon, or actually some California rolls. And Red downloaded Planet Coaster for me, so we're gonna sit and have lunch, and then have some video game time. Maybe we'll vlog some more later, I have to, I have to, <laughs> I have to, um, charge the camera, so. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hi, so we're back. I have changed into some comfier clothes. And so, time to make some dinner. It's about six o'clock. We're, we play video games for way too long. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some fresh Brussels sprouts and I actually got some salmon fillets. So we're gonna be doing that. I have the Instapot ready for the Brussels sprouts. And then I have um, just a pan with some olive oil and some of this like all-in-one seasoning for the salmon, which is like my favorite. So let's get this stuff in the Instapot and then we can start the rest of it. So I'm not a cooking channel, but I think I did a pretty good job. You're just gonna let that sit for a little bit and we'll come back. Can you still cook? Once you start seeing those like white edges, that means you're getting close to flipping time. Which is good. All right, seems like we're gonna flip it. You should see that pink in the middle with the white on the edges. That's using like an awkward angle. Okay, I'll just let that sit for another five minutes. Turn the heat down when it's on the flesh. Yeah, turn it down just a little bit. Flip them back over. They got just a little bit of color. We're gonna turn the look heat down super low so that they can just Stay nice and warm. Super yummy, guys. What do you think? Yeah, delicious. Okay, so I've plated the salmons. 
got the larger one for red, the smaller one for me. Mine has a little bit more color on it because I like mine a little crispier. Red actually has the cream soda and I have some white Riesling tea. Tea. I have some white wine. And then, so make sure when you do an Instapot that you turn it away from anything and you release, release the steam. That, Red decided he wants is a little more crispy. Yeah. So look at those guys. Oh, I'm gonna salt them right now. And we're gonna serve them up. So you guys have it. Dinner is served, we're gonna enjoy some dinner. Almost a clean kitchen too, leftovers. I put in a little container that we're gonna eat later. I might turn this into a soup. Pan's all nice and clean, this is all rinsed out. I let this kind of air dry while it's the, um... yeah, you just rinse it out. How beautiful is that? All right, let's do this, dinner time. She's so creepy. So we're gonna finish playing some video games. The dishes are all done. I'm gonna put the Instapot away and put this in the fridge, which is the leftovers, and then maybe we'll have some pumpkin pie, but that's pretty much it for dinner. So we work tomorrow morning. So we're gonna head to bed and then wake up and go to work. So thank you so much for joining me on this vlog today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you didn't enjoy it please let me know if you did enjoy it please let me know and then maybe we'll do more of these and you know we have some other things going on this month i have my sister visiting this weekend i'll film some of that most likely and then we'll you know we'll see what else this year takes us shadow is hungry <laughs> honey hey meow we'll see you guys in the next one bye